you out there in the escort shuttle. Do you think old Spikey's blind? Get out of my junkyard, or I'll get out my plasma cannon. <laughs> Are you nuts? You're obviously not the brightest of sapiens in the monkey house. And a sack? You've got a priest with you? I'm Ty, in case you hadn't noticed. I don't believe in all that metaphysical hoo-ha, but I hate those fracking balances. If the... I've got a few other surprises for you up my sleeve. Don't think old Spikey can be fooled that easily. Here you go. Some old turrets that might come in handy for you. I'm sending you the activation codes. You just have to get to them and activate them. Now you owe me one, Sapien. You owe me big time, monkey ears. I took this job so I wouldn't be caught in the middle anymore. War isn't my business. I just deal in whatever's left over when the wars are over. I can't guarantee there aren't more balancers waiting for you out there. Fly through the wreckage to the coordinates I'm sending and stay away from the ship debris. Then they should notice you. Now get out of here before I use my plasma cannon to add you to my inventory. Mighty have fallen. The Genites were not always arrogant or even warlike. For many years, the population of Sabiador did not even know of the Genites' existence. But when the Genites set up their own spawning domes and began to reproduce uncontrollably, it was no longer possible to keep their existence a secret, and the Second Species War was inevitable. Even before the First Species War, a type of global paranoia had started to take root on Sabiador. Some historians claim that the insanity creeping in on Sabiador was the result of failed environmental experiments on the Genites. Others believe that the sickness had natural origins. The pathogen may have reached the people through the water, or maybe in their food. Or they might have caught it from something as mundane as pollen in the air, or even some type of cosmic radiation. I can tell from your silence that you're asking yourself the same question as everybody else. Why did the Thai and Genites continue to fight each other to the death if the problem was restricted to Sabiador. Well, why does the offspring of a predator also grow into a deadly predator? Why do carnivores give birth to carnivores? Why is man what he is, a warlike, egomaniacal, jealous creature? Hate could be inherited. It's taught through religious manipulation and age-old antagonism. Hatred is passed down from generation to generation. Children are taught to hate each other, and they teach that to their children. Many tie in their homogeneous worlds, have never even seen a living genite face to face, and vice versa. You should take a look at the Species War Archive in the Stellar Vox database. That'll expand your horizons.
Thank you for your help. I will report these incidents to the General Superior and make my way to Triamon immediately. If I do not survive the Council for obvious reasons, at least I will not take the secret with me to my grave. Remember the name Balthazar. It's the name of the ship that set off for Earth more than a hundred years ago. Its mission was to investigate a mysterious radio message that had been received 40 years earlier by the Thai colony of Myrna. Officially, nothing has been heard from the Balthazar since Exxon 306, but that isn't entirely true. I can't tell you any more here and now. Given the current situation, it would be a good idea to hide amongst the Thai or the Genites, as they are the ones concealing the truth. Discover the secret of the Balthazar, open the eyes of humanity. Now, wish me luck and farewell. Maybe we'll meet again one day. Special report. After analyzing all Canfall recordings, there is now no doubt that the Tarpon pilot guilty of destroying the Kamsa embryo transporter in a sapiens who is also linked to the poison gas attack on the Konku Marl and the destruction of an Atavi church bar. The pilot is also accused of direct or indirect involvement in the attack on the Sebulon and the Jagbera Nambush of the colony ship Convoy Overclave. If the Independent Investigatory Committees agree unanimously to charge him, this destructive sapiens individual would be responsible for the death of at least 2,400 Thai, nearly 1,800 Genites, over 1,200 sapiens and the destruction of 318 androids and 600,000 genite embryos, as well as damages costing around 47 billion quarrels. Now everybody wants to know who this crazed sapiens is. A mercenary for the genites or the Thai? A double agent? An activated Jad Baron sleeper agent? A reprogrammed android? An insane cleric? Or even an alien in human form? Stay on the campfire with us.